Hey guys, good evening everyone. I'd like to share something with you in this video and it's not related to uh, stock market but somehow still related to the world of trading. This time around is it's something to do with cryptocurrency and I just want to talk about this website because I just discovered this site and uh, found out that this website allows you to exchange your um, cryptocurrency, particularly Litecoin and Bitcoin at a much higher rate. So as you notice, this website is uh, tier low. But before I get started and uh, get into the details of this discussion, so by the way, I am Miss JD. I do review stocks in the Philippine market and in the U.S. market. Sometimes I talk about cryptocurrency. And uh, basically, uh, the discussion today involves cryptocurrency. And because selling is part of the process in the world of trading, so uh, I I don't stop researching and I just found this, this website I, that you might find interesting. Okay, so if this is the video you like to watch every day, I'm inviting um, whoever is watching this for the first time. You're invited to join my my small community here by clicking the subscribe button and the notification bell. So you're always updated uh, whenever I have new videos. But this topic is really interesting and it's very intriguing. So if you know anything about this website, feel free to drop a comment because I just started uh, engaging in this website last uh, March. March 28th, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, it's been a week. Okay, <clears throat> so what is this website? Tirlo, so this is tirlo.com, T I R L U.com. So this is an exchange website. So if you are, uh, if you are holding a Litecoin or a Bitcoin and you want to sell it, um, in exchange of a USD, then uh, this website offers a 14% higher rate than the market price. So for instance, all right, so it says here, Litecoin current market price is at 210, but they are going to pay you 240. So for example, one, one Litecoin is equivalent to 240 so let me see if that is um, correct so this is we are now in okay let me just check that out here Let me also verify that over here. The LTC USD. LTC USD is one is two hundred eight, all right. But here it says that current price is two hundred ten. So there's a slight discrepancy. But if they're going to pay you at two forty and then you base it at two hundred eight point six. Let me just uh, refresh that one more time so we can we gotta make sure that it's in sync. So they said its price right now is 210. But if I go here, it's actually 208.6. If I go to LTC USD, so this one is more accurate, 210 indeed in uh, tradingview.com. So this one maybe I just have to refresh. So it's um, this is a bit late. So I just base it here, 210, 210. So this one is close. Tradingview.com and Terlu, our uh, data are close enough. And they said that it's 14% more. So they're going to pay you for 240 um, USD for one Litecoin, right? So that is 14%. 
Now for Bitcoin, Bitcoin right now is priced at $59, 59000 but they are going to pay you 67275 which is 14%. So what's interesting here is that, so these are the only, these are the only um, uh, currencies, cryptocurrencies that they are accepting, and they will only pay you via PayPal. Now, um, there are some uh, reminders that they've uh, shared with uh, the people who would like to engage uh, in this in a transaction with them. And number one, uh, first of all, the only uh, mode of um, payment is through PayPal. Okay, so the direction is through PayPal and only for Bitcoin and Litecoin. Uh, for the fees, what's interesting is they will cover the fees. So personally, I said I've already tried it uh, for a week now, and I already made a total of uh, six transactions with them. No, actually seven. Seven transactions with them. And each time, they would pay me more than what they've promised. So which is good, because uh, whenever I transfer from USD in my PayPal account, if I transfer US, USD to Philippine Peso, there's a charge. So if the current exchange rate in um, the, the market is, let's say, 48 pesos to $1, if you transfer from USD to Philippine Peso in PayPal, it will only cost $46. So at least there's some wiggle room for the fees and you get to receive the net amount they, they promised here on the calculator. So expect that the, you will be receiving some extra uh, on top of the 14% that they've promised. And um, this is also true within 24 hours um, from the experience I, I had within 12 hours, on average five to six hours. Uh, I was able to receive my funds. What about Bitcoin to PayPal exchange? No, this is, um, as you know, PayPal doesn't allow. So this is the only uh, questionable side here. The grammar on their, on their websites, um, on their website is not that good. There are some grammar slips here. So I don't know the, the origin. Okay, so that's one thing. One thing I do not know is why are they able to offer a, a much higher rate? So what is their source of revenue? So that's one thing that is not disclosed here. Maybe they have some other source of uh, um, income. And this is just one of the uh, you know income streams that they have. So that's something I, I do not have in this, in this video. So this is just a plain and simple, honest review of what I have experienced. So it's really your call if you want to try it out or not. Okay, so please uh, do your research. And I will also cover some of the important ones here. So how to use PayPal account carefully? Okay, this is something that they have reminded uh, the users really, really thoroughly. Because in PayPal, uh, PayPal is very strict. Uh, once they discover that any funds would come from cryptocurrency, so they do not want that. Um, and uh, they're careful enough. If they see any any uh, abrupt change in the behavior of the user, for instance, for the longest time, you're not very active in PayPal, and all of a sudden you keep on receiving funds out of nowhere, and then it's in a large amount. So what happens here is they put a hold on the funds, which I experienced personally, right? So my first transaction, it went through very smoothly. Second transaction, it was held. And then uh, I just provided information. I said that this was a payment from a virtually delivered uh, goods. And then it was, others would have to wait 21 days, but I only had to wait for two and a half days. It was just very fast, so it really depends. Um, maybe because I also had some transactions prior, uh, 
that yeah i i was funding my eToro account using paypal so in a span of a month i mean last month i also had some activities there so probably that that may have um, caused why my wait time is faster than the others but most of the time it takes 21 days 21 sometimes even 60 days so here's the recommendation first of all you gotta start really small there's really no limit one dollar uh, is even okay but you know use your time wisely so if you're only trading for one dollar so it's like definitely you're you're at a loss because uh some fees that you will be incurring so they mentioned here that start with a small amount and then slowly don't do it every every single day just because they release your funds after five six hours you you uh, trade again um for the same day so uh, paypal will definitely uh, notice that abrupt change in your in your transactions so they're recommend recommending that you try fifty dollars here for instance and then skip a day and then start increasing slowly slowly until um, the system recognizes that you have a consistent activity on your account so that's the one of the uh, instructions here uh, can PayPal and this is what I'm always mentioning PayPal uh, put a hold just to verify that you are uh, that it's not fraud that there's not no, no anomaly is happening on your account so just read through this PayPal can limit or can put a hold on your funds until such time you're able to provide the information they're looking for so normally so yeah <clears throat> just the instruction here is just put there that this is um, for a virtually delivered product <laughs> I'm coach so actually I in on my on my answer to PayPal I said I'm I'm a, a, a coach for uh, trading and there wasn't any question after that how to register okay so where do you get your L Litecoin and uh, Bitcoin so there are several exchanges right there's Coinbase, there's coins.ph. However, um, I've been a user of Binance uh, for a long time now, actually since 2019, I've been using Binance. So um, it was very convenient for me. And then coins.ph, I know some of uh, uh, our friends are using coins.ph, but the, the fees are really, really high in coins.ph. So, uh, I can probably uh, do another video on this. What I do is I put funds in my Gcash and then transfer it to Binance, buy Litecoin from Binance, and then and cash it in Turlu.com. Okay, so I can probably show you a, a walkthrough later on on that. Um, but I use Binance. Between the two, based on my experience, Litecoin has very minimal fee uh, compared to Bitcoin when I transfer. Let me just show you very quickly. All right, so as you can see, I'm in uh, my Binance account and uh, it shows here, well, I, I, I don't have Bitcoin in here. My Bitcoin is in eToro. Um, so here's an example. So far, I only have 0 0.00, very, very small amount here. But notice the fee that they will charge you each time you transact or withdraw a Bitcoin. That is $29.56. And that's their minimum. So that's around, what, 1.5? Approximately. But for Litecoin... Their fee, okay, their fee is only $0.21. So what will happen here is that if you're going to uh, uh, exchange from, exchange your Litecoin to USD in Terlo, 
all you need to do is put the address that Tirlur provide here and then the amount of uh, the Litecoin you'd like to exchange with and then the fee over here and then we'll just have to submit. I can give you a more thorough discussion on how uh, to go about it uh, on a real transaction but point here is okay so point here is between the two if you wanna if you want to really maximize your your gain I suggest try to use Litecoin compare with uh, Bitcoin okay so recommendation number one is uh, fund your you have to fund your Binance uh, and you have multiple multiple ways of doing that. You can use uh, Gcash or Coins.ph and then put your funds in Binance, buy Litecoin, and then uh, exchange it in Tirlu. And minimum amount, even one dollar, but I don't recommend doing one dollar because you'll be it's not an efficient use of your time because uh, of the fees that you will be incurring. I suggest try as low as $20 and uh, just to test it out because as a disclaimer, there's a big chance, no, big chance if you're not very active in your PayPal, there could be a, a probability that your funds will be held first because PayPal want to verify that this is not fraud or there's no, uh, you know, uh, you're not there's no account takeover that's happening, something to that effect. So they will verify that first. Is it safe to use our service? My only take here is personally, I, I have no idea as to what their main source of revenue is. So if you know anything about Turlu's main source of revenue, go ahead and drop a comment. Um, what? I'm after for is for as long as I'm I'm, I'm gaining out of uh, the higher rates that they're offering if I exchange my Litecoin to USD then I'll just take advantage of that for now and that's just me and uh, you can test it out uh, if you want to try it out uh, but please please do your research and uh, I just want to emphasize that there could be a possibility that your funds could be held. So if you don't receive it right away, it's just in your PayPal account, just provide the info that PayPal will be asking you. So just manage your expectations, okay? How to buy Bitcoin in the Philippines? Any requirements to my PayPal account? So it's good if you have your, your PayPal account verified. Uh, and a way to verify that is if you uh, add your phone number, you add your funding source. I added my credit card in there. I also added my ID because that was one, particularly the ID that was uh, requested when my funds were held. Uh, but the credit card, I've already linked that even before I engaged in this website. What can I do if PayPal put a hold on my account? So you just have to provide information. So there, this was what I was mentioning early. What can I do if I have a question? So there's just um, this customer service email address is really, really helpful. Um, the um, person is, whoever is in charge, is very active and is very prompt in, in replying. So yeah. And what else? Um, so uh, what I'm going to show you next is an example on how it looks like if you already have an account and uh, just have to click check in or log in um, or create an account. I don't know how it looks like. I forgot how it looks like if you're not yet a member, but you can just click here and log in if you haven't logged in yet. All right, so when you're inside the account, I will not show my dashboard so you will not see the, all the transactions I did. Uh, but I just want to show you particularly this part. It's almost um, the same view as what we have uh, when you're not logged in. Um, but what's important here is, as you notice here, you have to enter your PayPal account here. You click the Litecoin first 
or Bitcoin, right? Click it here, enter it here, then um, the equivalent USD. And according to Wikipedia, integrated services digital network is a set of communication standards for simultaneous hey, transmission. <laughs> All right. So sorry about that. Um, so if you just enter your uh, your the amount you want to exchange it for, let's say you do this. So 0 0.10, that's equivalent to 24.33. Um, then your estimated uh, profit here would be 299. You enter your PayPal email here. Be very careful that your PayPal should be accurate because if you create a typo here, typo error, then it's not their fault. It, you know, it's more, I don't know how, what will happen in terms of, of you know, if, if they will still um, be able to fix that. Because I know a lot of the actions here are system generated. So if you entered it incorrectly, um, just try to reach out to them and see what they can do. But I haven't really experienced it because I'm very, very careful when I enter my PayPal here. Click the uh, um, Terms of Service. If you want to view the uh, Terms of Service, you'll find it here. And then sell your Litecoin. And then from there, you will receive a pop-up. And it will contain the address um, where you will be sending your Litecoin. And remember earlier, I shared with you the 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 litecoin address you should you will get it from here from the pop-up that will show here okay um and then you just have to go back once it's done you can just have to uh, go to your binance and uh, take action so maybe in my next video i will show you a step-by-step -step procedure of an actual transaction so you'll see how it's done. But just in case you're curious, go check out turdlu.com and do your research. Probably watch more videos about Turdlu and uh, see if you wanna try it out. But my recommendation is number one, manage your expectations that your funds could be held by PayPal for, our, for three to 21 days. Number two, my reminder for you is try small amounts first. To this day, I've only been um, exchanging no more than $80, all right? So that's just me. It's up to you if you want to go 100 or 200 Make sure um, you set that. Just, you know, similar to what we would always say, like um, risk the amount you're willing to, to lose. Because we don't know, like all of a sudden, something happens to this website and they stop paying. I have no control over that. That's why my 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 take here is while it is paying me, I'll try to take advantage of that only in in small amounts. At least I will not be scared totally. I will not be uh, impacted emotionally if something happens. But um, based on what I've watched uh, in the previous videos, they. They mentioned that this website has or has been around for four years now, but I haven't really seen that in in their terms of service. There are so many things that this website needs to needs to uh, uh, fix. Number one, their grammar they have to fix that because that makes their website look unreliable. But based on my experience, I've already had seven transactions with them, so. I don't mind their grammar in that sense. Here's their terms. I wanted to, because uh, this, the the four years that the guy mentioned, because I watched a live session, uh, a live stream, and they were talking about Turlu. And they said that, uh, the host said that uh, Turlu has been around for four years now. But I haven't really seen any. I haven't seen any, any, mention of it being in being four years already there's one uh let me see there's a turlu review if you want to see honest 
um, review about Thurlow, you'll find it here. Trust Pilot. So there are several ones, uh, several feedback can, uh, mentioned here. It's really a combination. Some have uh, not so good, some have good feedback. See that? So just take the time to read it before you dive into the actual uh, transaction with them. A lot of them are just complaining about their funds being held. So uh, they probably were very dissatisfied about their experience when their funds were held. Uh, I just want to find out the, the latest or the oldest. I don't know how it's done. Rating filter by... Well, just play around with the, the feedback here. I want to know uh, the oldest, the oldest feedback they have. That will give us an idea how long they have already been. Uh, April 2020, this was the first one. So no basis, it was just a comment from the guy. He said four years, but I haven't really seen any, any uh, tangible information that I found on the web that can be found on the website uh, in this uh, third-party review site the oldest feedback feedback we got is from 2020 so I'm thinking one year yeah they've been around for a year but there is a competition there is a competition of this website and I'm gonna review that in my next video because I'm just trying it out first. I did my first transaction there today. So if that pushes through, then I can probably create a video as well. But okay, so that's it. I There's actually a referral link, but I will not put a referral link here because I want you to study it and I don't want you to blame me if your funds get held. And you're not ready emotionally emotionally by the amount you traded in there so I'm not putting my referral link but there is a referral link here if you you're interested to know and if you want to refer your, your friends okay so that is third one so let me know your thoughts guys I know this is a bit long <laughs> a 27 minute video um, but I think it's really worth uh, checking out and then from there you decide okay so it's just it's just interesting that you can consistently get uh, a 14% gain. So others, we, we have to wait for several days, several uh, yeah, hours or days to reach 14% gain. But the fact that I'm able to do it by just transacting, it's a stable 14% every single day, right? So imagine my $100. So let's say if I do $100, and I, I am able to consistently um, trade one transaction per day. So I get $14 out of my $100. Multiply that by 30. Okay. But realistically, I don't think you'll be able to do that every day. Let's say you are only able to do uh, $14. For 20 days, you get 280 times, let's say, 48. That's a 13,440 additional income for you every every month, right? And that's just for your 5,000 peso capital. You just roll it. You After you encash it, it goes to your Gcash, fund your Binance again to buy Litecoin, and then sell it to Turlu. Turlu sends it to PayPal. And once you get the money back, uh, once you get the money from PayPal, you return it to buy uh, to Gcash again and do the same thing over and over. So how many times did you get a revenue out of your $100 uh, capital? So that's just it. If that's the amount you're willing to lose. Because I said earlier, anything can happen. We don't know. But I'm just taking advantage while this website is still giving me money. Okay, so I think that's it, guys. I just want to share uh, this information to you. If you find it helpful, feel free to drop a comment, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Um, there's one more website of the same nature that I am currently trying out. 
and uh, we'll record another video about this soon. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.